In Philadelphia alone, there are 5,000 people in need of a homeless shelter every year, many of which are chronically homeless. Unfortunately, this number continues to rise annually. Luckily, shelters like Project Home and Sunday Breakfast Rescue Mission have helped the homeless get back on their feet. I became chronically homeless at the age of 14, um, family situation. Um, but when I came to live on the street, my main thing was I couldn't read or write. So I didn't know nothing about organizations. When I went into soup kitchens, I was the youngest kid eating with 35 and 40 year old men. There are numerous reasons for why some may be experiencing homelessness. Most people typically blame such things as addiction, but poverty, job loss, lack of affordable housing, systematic racism, mental illnesses, and healthcare are also responsible for the cause of homelessness for many individuals. And with homeless people, you have to gain their trust because they lose all trust out there. They lose sense of respect, sense of dignity. Um, so I gained, Ed Speakman gained my trust and another guy named Sam, they would kick my box every morning. We had a refrigerator box and they would kick it every morning. And I wouldn't come in, but I got sick and this man brought me to close off his back and come visit me in the hospital. So that made me come into Project Homes. And I've been there eight years since then and now I have a third grade reading level, a ninth grade math level. I'm the senior head sales associate at Homespun Boutique, and I live in a beautiful studio apartment. You can eat off the floor. These things I didn't have when I was homeless. Now I treasure them. Everybody thinks homeless people is drugs and alcohol. That's not always the case. Living on that wall, I had people that had HIV. I had people living on that wall that had mental problems. I had people living on that wall that were just chronically homeless. One common issue for homeless people is gaining trust in the shelters hoping to take them in. Many homeless people feel that they cannot fully trust organizations to genuinely take care of them. This is why most of the population never seek out a program or shelter, especially because they feel used or degraded by them. It's important that a shelter builds trust with them over time so that the individual can feel more at home and safe. They look to Sunday breakfast as a way to be able to the first time trust. First of all, trust themselves to be able to ask for help. Second, trust that we are going to help them. A homeless man, uh, he was probably 21 years old, he walked in, he pulled me to the side, he was sitting at our dining table waiting for a meal, and he said, sir, I've never been in a homeless shelter, what do I do? And I said, first of all, enjoy your meal. Hope begins with a meal. The second thing I said to the young man is I said, and we're gonna help you. The best thing that we can do for the homeless is treat them as they are, human beings. Most of the time, people view the homeless as lower than them because of their inability to own a home or have financial stability, which is yet another obstacle in helping the homeless. People experiencing homelessness are strongly advised to seek out shelters such as Project Home or Sunday Breakfast Rescue Mission to receive proper care. For WHYY Summer Journalist, I'm Pepper Green.